Thank you for inviting us. I'll always into your home. My pleasure, sir. I, th I think I think the back the background of Red well, Dove Motors kind of tell you where you are. Yeah, well, it's this been my the, home. Been my home for a long, long time. time yeah, so. Long time. You're a Diamond graduate. I am. Yep. Yeah. Have mm -hmm. between uh, you've been here for how long, John? I'm working on my 30th year right now. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I graduated uh, in 1978. Mm -hmm and um, went out into industry for a, a few years, yeah. came back and um, got my uh, certificate to teach and yeah. been here ever since, and uh, Diamond's been absolutely wonderful for me. You know, the thing about Diamond, about everything else, is that Diamond does so, so much for a community, communities, because you're a regional school, so you have the town surrounding you as well as the city. Um, and you just think of, of the fact, without a Diamond, you know, because you're strapped to the to the top with not room, not enough room mm -hmm. to turn away a couple of hundred kids anyway who want to come to Diamond but can't get, there's no room because it's too small. But think of the money that's lost from the city to towns, of the services mm -hmm. that all of these shops have done for for those people, for nothing. For nothing. You know, and you start adding that up, that for nothing, uh, is small potatoes when you come to taking taking care of a new school to continue the thing to grow. I always thought as I go into the shop, I've done this with all the shops, well, all the, not all the shops yet, but there are 17 shops and we're close to coming to the end of the 17 shops. In each particular case, John, I've always thought that if you're doing major repair to the car and, you're, and it's a student and it's an educational program, you know, the, the, the government should put their money where their mouth is. Because in this particular yep. case, you know, these people that benefit from the students that come out of here should be able to help to pay for portions of the school. Each, each particular uh, 17, you should build a campus here. Maybe not here, but you should build a campus in the city here. So you have, and there's a lot to ask for. But if you have people coming in that, that you do business with, or the school does business with, what most of them do do business with, why not you build a building? Have them pay for that. Absolutely. And start doing that all the way around to every one of the shops in a campus type of atmosphere. Number one, you'd, it's, it'd be sold out. Yeah. Number one. Number two is they would be hired right on the spot because they'd be able to take the co-op program to the blue. Right. And everything else. And plus the fact is you would, you would be able to, well, hey, listen, America is built by trades. By trades. And you see that every day. I'll just give you an example off camera about going to a couple of Navy guys who were very expert uh, through tin can sailors. And I said, I just did a school of tape about welders. And I said, welders? They said, I said they can't get enough no. welders. <clears throat> the services are now letting the last months of, of, a, of a serviceman's time before he gets out, they're giving them an opportunity to learn to be a welder. Right. So, so they're helping the industry, helping the individual. Well, from my personal experience with, with what Diamond has provided for me, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it I, I came from the old country and, and really didn't, didn't speak the language, went to middle school, and, and then I, uh, there was a, a guidance counselor over at middle school that, you know, once I was ready to make the move into high school that said, hey, you know, hey, John, you, 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 Diamond would be a good fit for you. And he, and he was absolutely right. Yep. You know, and I got here at, at Diamond, and I made the best of my education at Diamond. Went out, got a co-op job, like yeah. like we do here with every, yeah. Yeah. well, not every, but most of our qualified seniors, yeah. and juniors, and uh, worked out in the trade for a few years. And then I'm back here teaching now. And 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 Diamond's been, uh, you know, what has been absolutely uh, uh, perfect for for a, a person of of my of my type, meaning that. That it's nice to to go out into further education or have a further have a degree and have a, yeah. and and there are the college and, and, and universities are, are a wonderful thing for for most people or a lot of people but and again I agree with you Senator and we are in dire need of technicians plumbers electricians auto technicians uh, building trades anything to do with vocation and uh, and I think that the focus on vocational education should be. Uh, you know, a concern, uh, you know, in, uh, yeah. in Federal Hill. I mean, it should be a concern for us. Yeah, it's, it's, you're absolutely right. It, it just think it would be a way, what a way to open, uh, you know, how many, now that we are unfortunately at a wrong time with uh, our military expenditures uh, for, for uh, not munitions, but parts and needs, all come on a trace. 
And if, the, if that were to be used somehow, would the government would step in and say, okay, we're going to award, uh, how many, How many? by the way, how many awards does Diamond win a year? <laughs> All of them? Does anybody <laughs> win anything besides Diamond? Well, we have our share of awards. Yeah, you do, that, you yeah. but, uh, that shows you what I'm saying leading to, is that that, that would mean encourage uh, a manufacturer who you'd have to deal with to start looking at how to, I know some of them do, and help you. We, we have potential em employers calling for jobs, for, for students that have, that can offer them jobs on a, in our co-op program. And uh, right now, it, it, we're at a luxury of having, we have more jobs than, than we have students to fill those jobs. Yeah. And it just goes to show what the industry is lacking out there. I mean, if, if, if there are dealerships calling me to, to get a kid or get, get yeah. a student into a co-op program, whereas years ago, it was, it was harder to place kids. Now, yeah. and again, I think there's a shortage of, of um, a vocational um, help. Yep. out there, not just in the automotive industry, but everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. And we're getting a lot of that where we're now you know, we have an excess of, uh, which is a nice problem to have, of, of jobs that, you know, that we can't really fill because we don't have the qualified students right now to fill. In my house, if my wife said to me, do you know that the plumbing, the bathroom is leaking? And I was like, let's get a plumber. If she said to me, I don't care what it is, I would just, right. it's not, you know. It's just that just such a big not because of me, it's just such a big need for the trade. Right. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. And people yeah. like you yeah. make give them the opportunity that you took as a young man to do what you're doing today and retiring from that. And well, retiring, yeah. This is gonna be called John's home. <laughs> Who's gonna fill well, John's home? Who's well, I, John's home? I think I've become institutionalized in here. <laughs> I, think, I, I don't know if I, I leaving here is gonna be uh, yeah. be uh, you know, catch yeah. twenty two. You're excited well, about retiring, hey, you but know, you, you put you a lot spend, of life you put your life in here. Yeah, you do. Put we your do. life in yeah. here and you put and then you see it in the eyes of these students. Yeah. And you, that's that's the one good thing about it is that you get out, John, you bump into kids that'll never forget you. Right? Yeah. And never forget you. Most of the people I know want to forget me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm making no, that. No. But uh, it's, uh, it's just a tribute to you. Right? It is, and, and, and teaching, and I, and I never expected to, uh, uh, I never expected it to be what it, what it was for me, you know? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's overwhelming, and I'm very uh, grateful for it, you know? Um, well, we, we, we certainly appreciate it. Um, and, and just to, uh, Senator, just to uh, uh, talk to uh, about what, um, what we have and, and, and what we've, we're also doing here in the, in the shop is that we're very, very proud of, of the fact that we, and you talked about the community, yeah. and that we service, you know, nonprofit organizations, you know, and that people that are needy, people that call us or call me here or call any one of the instructors here, they're usually people that, that can't afford repairs on the outside right. and and we uh, go ahead provide and, that service yeah, sure. and uh on 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 the cuff there's no charge other than they pay for the parts yeah. but um and uh, more people saying really really good things about diamond and it's particularly our shop yeah. and it makes it makes us very part of what we do here on a daily basis well you we, we'd hope all those things would add up to be able to get you know the funding for having the people have to vote for the funding in the cities and towns that you represent uh, and at an end, you know, when it comes to that particular time. What we try to do here, John, is to, with people like yourself, and whose heart is, is, and soul is, is wrapped up in diamond, better said, it's wrapped up in the students. Right. The things that happen here uh, are amazing, amazing. Um, it's when I, as I said to you before, I said, my experience with diamond was when we got a building on the waterfront, it was a building that was empty for 15 years. Right, right. It was not a nice place to look at and so on and so forth. And I approached Mr. Orban at that time, was the head of the, uh, the uh, all of the shops, I guess. And, and Mr. Ramos was the principal at that time. Right. And I approached him about having Diamond help me. And he said, we well, can put him for the one day. I want, to, I want to put him for a class. I want to have a class performed here. Yeah. So in other words, the class can flip. It can go from plumbing to whatever that may be. They spent one whole year, over one whole year. My only contribution to those kids was I bought pizza. They try to get two days a week out of me, but they got one and yeah. a tough two. <laughs> but they, when I left there, 
they, they were going out on the bus, one of the diamond buses, with their hands on the window to say yeah, goodbye. Yeah. I never forgot that, 12 years ago. So here I am 12 years later trying to score a home run for you. Okay. Well, you know, kids are great. You know, look, we have issues at times with kids, but most, but most most of the time the kids are great. The kids yeah. you can straighten out, the kid, if you treat them fairly, they're going to respond in yeah. a positive way. You know, uh, the adults, dealing with adults can be a little bit more oh. difficult. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the, yeah, the kids, the kids have been great, and uh, you know, and I, and I think that's what I'll be missing. I'll be missing a lot of that, you know, with the. I uh, miss all of this. Uh, yeah, but I miss all of this. But it's uh, it's not about me. It's about the school. And, I know. Uh, I know. What, uh, I know. But it's also those the champions that have made it, it made a comfortable place to be. Yeah, why well, why do why do kids apply for this class, John? You know, I mean, they get an opportunity to yeah. see. But then they come back and they apply for this class, and then, and that you, and they want to be here. Right. It's not like they have to be here; they want to be here. And and like you said, we, we turn away a lot of students, so yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, the schools don't have that luxury, maybe. But uh, we're but going to take a little break and uh, tend to yep. go out on the field and get a look at the kids. Okay. Absolutely. I'll be, okay. I'll give you the nickel tour. Yeah. In this section, this is our sophomore section. Um, it's run by Mr. Monis, and uh, as you can see, we do. Uh, front alignment, uh, front suspension, steering and suspension systems, uh, shocks, uh, that type of thing. And they're done by the sophomore class. I'm with our sophomore instructor, uh, who happens to be a, a former student of mine, uh, shows you how old I am, uh, Steve Monis, who is our sophomore instructor, and he'll tell you a little bit of what he does. So basically, uh, what we do in our area here is uh, we do we instruct wheel alignments, uh, Steering suspension, uh, replacement of components, uh, disc brakes, drum brakes, hydraulic systems, uh, brake hydraulic systems, and uh, pretty much what you're seeing right now is uh, live work. We start, we start introducing our live work. Can you tell us what we you're have, doing uh, to, the, to the next uh, Camaro? We got a 67 Camaro here. We're actually replacing the front coil springs, rear leaf springs, uh, and shocks all the way around. And then we're going to perform a four wheel alignment on this vehicle once we're done with that. Uh, quite the job. Kids, you can see the kids are really, really interested in it. They see vehicles like this come into the shop. They're, uh, they're all about it. So um, we're very grateful for people bringing vehicles in like this for us to, for our students to learn on. Now, in here we have we have Mr. Aruda, and Mr. Aruda does our freshman exploratory program, uh, program, and he's also our freshman teacher. And as you can see, he's uh, just introducing them into um, entry. Level skills like tires and exhaust systems and uh, and uh, brakes, very very entry level tools, just so that they get uh, they get a, 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 a gist of what's going on and, and how we do things. With Neil Aruda, who is our freshman instructor, and uh, he'll tell you a little bit about what he does on a daily basis as well. All right, uh, first half of the year is exploratory, so the kids get to try out the shop two, three, four days at a time, and then after the holiday break, they get permanently placed in here. And what I tell my kids is my job is to get you ready to be a sophomore. To when, I wouldn't say the real learning takes place, but when more in-depth learning takes place. Learning how to use lifts, lift cars up off the ground, learning how the basic tools work, how the operations of the garage work. Then they can really start accelerating, no pun intended, sophomore year. Um, so it's, it's basic entry level stuff from the door handles down, I call it. Suspension work, brake work, and tons of tire work. A lot of repetition. And this side here, this is, this is my controlled chaos here in, in this corner. And uh, what, what we do here, and I have, uh, I have the senior class, what we do here is all the big stuff. The engine overhauls, transmission overhauls, and um, anything to do with drivetrain. And as you can see now, we, we're working on this uh, 72 Dodge and uh, get the engine off and the transmission out. And uh, we're going to overhaul both and, uh, and reinstall it and hopefully uh, get it on its way. So, uh, our seniors, Richard and, and, and Dylan, and they're working on a, on a 36 Mercedes, I believe, uh, Mercedes replica. And uh, just charging the battery up, and we've just done a... Uh, a heater core replacement and uh, just putting the finishing touches on it now and uh, hopefully get it back to the customer. We have Mr. Farias here. Mr. Farias is our uh, junior instructor. Uh, and basically what Mr. Farias has done is anything electrical. Um, 
anything from check engine lights to you know uh, getting cars ready to run for to get inspection stickers, anything to do with electricity. That's what uh, and, and high tech electronics. That's what Mr. Farius does with our with our uh, um, junior uh, program. I'm with uh, Mr. Farius, Mr. Mike Farius is our um, junior instructor. Uh, and his field is basically electrical and electronics and uh, he'll tell you a little bit of what uh, what he does on a daily basis and um, okay. so basically what we do is we'll diagnose check engine lights uh, battery charging system concerns we'll have the students install a scan tool get familiar with the uh, operation of the scan tool um, go into battery systems familiar with um, operation of the vehicle with the charge system Electrical faults, and it will get into routine maintenance of vehicles, uh, tune-ups, air filters, um, stuff like that. And we try and touch base on some of the technologies that we have and stuff that's coming forth in the uh, industry. One of the things that we've uh, implemented in the last couple of years was the uh, parts and service center, as you can see. And uh, what that does is it gives our kids uh, an opportunity uh, to maybe step out of the uh, um, the field of turning wrenches and maybe into the uh, management field with service managing, service writing, parts managing, parts distribution, and gives uh, also gives our uh, uh, female population, because we do have females in the shop, an opportunity maybe to get into those fields a little cleaner and uh, and still very rewarding field in service writing and uh, and parts managing. One note that I would uh, I would really like to add is that uh, on behalf of the automotive program, I would. Love. I would like to thank Mr. Robin and this administration for all their support and what we've done here. We spent uh, a lot of money to upgrade the shop, to get it up and running, to, to get all the tooling that we have um, and service center and, and obviously all the equipment. And uh, without their help, uh, it would be uh, hard pressed to have everything done. And uh, I'm very, very thankful for this administration with all their uh, very uh, uh, diligent and, and, and aggressive help. Thank you. You know, John, I, you said, we talked about it earlier and talked about how they are, but you ever see the look on their face? You see that look on their face every single day. Yep. They're trying to conquer the world, you know, with a wrench or under a car. or You know, it, it's just amazing that you're giving them a life in that sense. I mean, they come here, they want to come here. And they're the fortunate ones that do come here. Well, it, it's exactly like you said, uh, Senator. It's, uh, if, if the kid or the student has the drive and yeah. the will, want, and desire yeah. to to uh, accomplish anything, and not only automotive but any trade, you know, uh, they can. You know, and, and Diamond provides that in, in a way that that is very unique, meaning that here in the shop, as you saw out there in the shop, we are a full service shop slash garage. Yeah. We run we run this facility or we run this uh, this this program like it was a regular service garage, like a regular dealership. We have a we have a, a service counter here. We kids answer the phone. They're out there. We give them repair orders. They 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 fill out repair orders. They they do the repairs. The the instructor checks their work and then then the cars move out. They're not modules. They're not stationary modules. They are vehicles that belong to, to somebody, either family, friends, uh, uh, yeah. again, community. Uh, uh, it's helpful if the people don't have a book either. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. We're, we're very proud of the fact that we can help people that way. Thank you for showing us. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you Our very pleasure. much. Thank you.